Hi guys, today I wanted to do a book haul. I didn't realize how long it has been since my last book haul. Uh, I apologize about that, but I've been receiving books in the mail and I try to do a good job on my Snapchat of like whenever I receive a package, unboxing, um, opening it on there. Uh, just honestly because I'm too impatient to wait to do it on camera because honestly probably because I wait like two months to do book hauls. So that it's like, I just can't wait. But if you wanna follow me on Snapchat, that's kinda where I do like the initial unboxings usually. But today I just have a bunch of random books that I've received, mainly through no November is when I um, got these books. So this first book is called River Keep. It's by Martin Stewart. It's actually a very, really, it's a really pretty cover. It's just very detailed up, up close. It's just very detailed and I love the colors and it's just beautiful. Uh, Penguin sent this to me, I believe. And reading the synopsis, it just, it sounds kind of like this journey. There's um, River Keep, which uh, the main character, I believe his father has been the one who tends this river. It says they clear away ice and weeds so boats can get through. They fish corpses uh, from the bleak depths as well. And he knows that one day he will become the river keep like his father did. But then apparently one day his father is pulled under and when he emerges, he is not himself. He has been possessed by like a spirit or something. So now um, the main character is having to be the river keep but then his dad's still around he has to tend his father too and i don't know it sounds a little creepy honest but it also sounds like a fun like adventure type story as well next i received a classic that i'm sure most of you have heard of and that is the outsiders and this is actually the 50th, 50th anniversary edition it says it contains never before seen photos letters and more and this is by se hinton and if you guys again follow me on like instagram and stuff i uh, posted whenever I got this and I received like a tote bag and stuff with it. Um, I haven't, where's like the pictures and stuff? Okay, so in the back it looks like is where they um, keep that. And then here's like all the foreign editions. I actually watched this movie a long time ago with my mom. Um, it's been a long time. It's a really, I mean, pretty small book really. And then on the back it says stay gold. So this is a really uh, cool edition with the leather jacket on the front. But this is something that I would love to read. I, I thought I had read it, to be honest with you guys. And then um, I just, I have a terrible memory and I realized, uh, no, I have not read this. I've only watched the movie. So I would love to read this. Uh, and now I have my own copy, so it's perfect. <laughs> this next book I received from Swoon Reads and that is Kiss Cam. It's by Kiera London. And it says, what's a little harmless kissing between friends? So this intrigued me because this is actually uh, about these best friends that actually have a vlog channel. Uh, the vlog channel is called We're Vlogging Here. And so apparently there's fans um, that have been shipping, they don't use that term, but basically they've been shipping uh, Juniper and Jasper together just forever. Apparently they did a truth or dare, and it, which a kiss came out of that. And then apparently it just spirals out of control uh, into a whole new world of making out and surprise kisses, despite warnings from friends and family, puts her worries aside and convinces herself that nothing can change her friendship with Jasper. After all, it's just kissing, right? So um, it sounds kind of just like a fun, light contemporary story. Just like the fact that he had a vlogging channel kind of interested me. And uh, I'm interested to see what this is about, so. This next book I was actually sent, I believe it was sent from the author, it's Sky Pony Press, but I think that I um, I was emailed by them and I got an arc of it. Um, but it is Spin the Sky, it's by Jill McKenzie. Okay, this either came out in like October or November, but it has not been out very long at all. And it actually caught my eye because it's about dancing. And I actually really love watching movies about dancing. Jake and I actually just watched Step Up last night on Netflix. Um, but no, I, I just, I've always been interested by like ballet and dancing and stuff, probably because I can't really dance myself. Um, I have like no rhythm. But this book is about a girl um, who I, believe it's just her and her sister and her sister works like all the time to make ends meet um but she's trying to get out of this little small town she lives in and her world is dancing and apparently this dance show live to dance is holding auditions nearby so she's trying to um go to that just basically change her life and change her future uh fight for her family and um but it sounds like a really good contemporary and like i said i love anything to do with dancing so i think i'm gonna really enjoy this one this next book is huge 
<laughs> um, when I received this, uh, it actually went to my neighbor's house and they were like, oh, did you get a textbook? I'm like, no, no, it's, it's, a, it's not a textbook. Um, it is called Rejected Princesses by Jason Porath. And it says, tales of history's boldest heroines, Hellions, and heretics. And on the back it says, a hundred women from the pages of history, literature, and folklore. Fearless, bold, fierce. These are the rejected princesses. Um, but it's definitely a very nice book. It's very heavy. I like that this book kind of warns readers. So if you are very young and you're reading this, it will warn you like the maturity level of what you're about to read and then what is actually involved in it. So I like that it does that. So like this very first one, it tells you the maturity level and there are um, full illustrations as you can see. There's notes and yeah, I just, I love anything to do with princesses. So whenever I was contacted about this book, I was like, absolutely, I will read this. But this actually came out at the very end of October, so it hasn't been out very long. And apparently this author is a former animator at DreamWorks. So that's really interesting. And apparently that he has a super um, popular blog, the same name, and then I guess just ended up making it into a book. I like that it says, it's fun, feminist, and educational. The Rejected Princesses Anthology proves that, spoiler alert, women have been kicking butt for a long, long time and will continue to do so. So yeah, definitely check this out if this sounds like something you guys would like. I will have some links in the description you guys can check out. Um, but this sounds really good and I'm excited to read some of these stories. Next, I have a book that um, I if you guys have been around for a while, I had this author's first book on my channel and now this is the second book and that is called A Trip to Remember. It's written by Michelle Spry. She is my former boss. Some of you met her when we went to BookCon together in New York and this is her second book. As I said, it's illustrated by Peggy A. Guest and it's a little bit bigger than the first one but not by much. Um, it says, J it says Jackson James has a heart for others as big as the sky. Lieutenant Colonel F.A. Percy is a true American hero who deserves to be honored and treated to a tour he'll never forget. Join Jackson, his amazing family, and Mr. Percy on a journey that will forever change all their lives with a story of respect, true sacrifice, and grace. And then I say, when you open it up, it says this book is dedicated to Lieutenant Lieutenant Colonel Farrell A. Purdy, thank you for your service to our country, your friendship, but most of all, allowing me the opportunity to listen and share your story. And what is so cool about this is I actually got to meet him, and Michelle actually got the plane that he flew in the war um, flown out from, like, I think it was California to him. And so um, I got to actually see his plane and meet him. And then the story is a, a children's story, though, that she's written. I believe her nephew was the inspiration for um, the little boy. And so it has to do with that and veterans. And I haven't got to read it yet. I read the first one and really enjoyed it. But yeah, I can check, I can link this in the description as well for you guys. You can check it out. This next book I have been talking about so much on my channel and I apologize. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because it is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. If you want to know what it's about, I will have a link in the description to its Goodreads page as well as my last couple videos like my November wrap up and stuff. I just feel like I've been talking about this book so much and I've spent a lot of time in my videos discussing the synopsis. You guys are probably tired of hearing about it. So if you wanna know what it's about, I'll link it in the description. But I did read this last month. I gave it five out of five stars. It was so good. Um, I actually received the ARC and then I also, in my quarterly literary young adult um, box. Uh, I actually received this hardcover um, and it's actually got like the signed book plate with it from Quarterly and it's got little notes from the author on these little post-its which is really cool. Um, yes, I highly recommend this book though. It's really good. Next I have The Midnight Star by Marie Lu. It's a young Elise novel um, and this is an arc. Honestly, I've had this for quite some time and I didn't realize I hadn't like included it in a book haul yet. But I still have not read The Young Elites. I still haven't. And it's been out forever, these books. I've heard great things. Marie Lu is an awesome author. So I need to get on that and I need to read them. But you guys should let me know if you've read this last book yet, if you have read the other books and just convince me that I need to pick these up soon because I know that I'll probably really enjoy it. But I don't even really know what they're about. Like I just, I, I kind of was told once like, oh, just jump into it. And then, you know, just, just jump in, you'll love it. And I never, I just trusted them and then, but I haven't read them. 
I need to. And last, another book I've had for a little while. This is An Arc of the Amateurs by Sarah Shepard. And I don't think I've showed this in a book haul yet. Uh, but I received this also a little while ago. So reading the synopsis quickly, I believe this is about a girl that went missing um, from her backyard about five years ago and they, the police never figured out what happened. They have no clue why she was killed, who killed her, um, or anything like that. And apparently now there's this 18 year old that says Seneca Frazier wants to change that. They start looking into it again five years later and it says there's a message board dedicated to studying cold cases. It says somewhere nearby the killer is watching, ready to do whatever it takes to make sure the truth stays buried. So yeah, it sounds pretty interesting, especially if you're really into like the mysteries and like the unsolved cases, all that stuff. As I said, I will have all these uh, links in the description. You can check them out, check them out on Goodreads and everything. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll try and make my next book haul, you know, sooner. Um, but as I mentioned, if you want to follow me on Snapchat, I do like the unboxings and stuff on there and it's the same username as here. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye.